3.51 a.m. We're here because I need to tell you guys very fast how to get Mew. Now, spoiler warning, if you don't want to know how to get Mew for your mythical quests from your special research, do not watch this video. If you want to know how to like speed through all of special research to get Mew the fastest as possible, then you do want to watch this video. So check out my Mew. It's beautiful. It's so cute. I'm in love with it. I didn't sleep. I basically went 24 hours straight um, getting my Mew. It took me exactly from start to finish 24 hours from 420 to 420. I can't believe it. And yeah, the whole thing is recorded, so I'm going to be making a video out of that. Make sure you guys check that out. The link will be in the description box on this video when it's done. I want to shout out to Prodigy's Nation, who was the first person um, from the like major Pokemon Go YouTubers that got Mew. So congratulations to him. Team Valor represent. I was like neck to neck with Prodigy's, except he beat me because um, he could immediately evolve a Magikarp into a Gyarados and also he immediately got Ditto. He said in his video that when he was on the Ditto quest, it was the first Rattata that he clicked on. It took me four hours to find a Ditto. Well, I had to grind about 370 Magikarp candies, but I still did it in exactly 24 hours. So if you wanna be like me and you wanna speed through the Mew quest and get Mew, Let's go. Really quickly, there's a Murkrow in my house. So, um, by the way, Murkrow can be shiny and it looks like this. So if you see kind of like a purplish pink Murkrow, that's a shiny, capture it. Don't forget that Murkrow evolves into Honchkur later. And happy Ep April Fool's Day, everybody, because all of the Pokemon are Pixelmon right now, including Mew. And let me show you what that looks like right here. I just think that looks so cool. I love it. It's exactly like how it looked in the video game. I named it 24 hours because like I told you guys, it took me exactly 24 hours. It's just so freaking cute. It's my buddy Pokemon right now. Let's take a look at it as my buddy Pokemon. There it is. Adorable. And Mew takes 20 kilometers to walk. So spoiler alert, remember, that at the end of the entire thing, you're gonna end up getting 23 Mew candy. So I'm actually gonna power it up really quickly while I'm telling you about the first quest. Okay, so let's get into the Mew guide to get you to your Mew as fast as possible. Stage one of eight, all you need to do is spin five Pokestops, catch 10 Pokemon, and transfer five Pokemon. And by the way, while you're doing all of these quests, Make sure that you have a lucky egg and a star piece on because the entire time that you're doing all this stuff, you're gonna be gathering a lot of XP and you're gonna be doing a lot of stardust from capturing all these Pokemon as well. Your rewards for completing the first task are 10 Great Balls, one Incubator, and three Lure Modules. Now, step two, what you need to do is earn two candies with walking with your buddy. Now, if you do not have 400 Magikarp candy, Put Magikarp as your buddy right now as you're, walk as you're watching this video. Add Magikarp as your buddy Pokemon and start walking it because eventually you will need to evolve a Gyarados in your quest to get Mew. Any Gyarados that you already have doesn't count. You need to have enough Magikarp candies to evolve it, which is 400. And that's once again the one thing that tripped me up forever. Objectives. Earn two candies walking with your buddy. That's 1,000 XP. Make 10 great throws and hatch three eggs. You'll end up earning 2,000 Stardust, three incense, and 20 great balls. Now, um, for hatching the three eggs, obviously you wanna use super incubators if you have them available to you. Earn two candies. You know what, basically just start running around the block if you're in a rush. And by the way, if you're trying to earn candies, your best bet is to walk in straight lines or in like huge squares. Don't try to do circles because I think literally cutting those corners will help you not cut corners. <laughs> and when it comes to getting great throws, you can get excellent throws and those will count towards your great throws, but you just can't get worse than that. Stage three, you just need to reach level 15, battle a gym two times, and battle in two raids. And for each of the, those tasks, you get 1500 XP. You're gonna end up getting a charge TM, a quick TM, and two star pieces. When it comes to the gym, 
you don't need to actually complete um, the entire gym battle. You can't run from it. Like you can't just engage the battle and then run. You have to actually like beat one Pokemon. It doesn't have to be completely beaten and knock out of the gym. You just need to beat like at least one Pokemon and then you can back out and that will count as one battle. So you just do that two times. Battle two raids. You don't even need to complete those raids. Start the raids, have the timer time out on you. So you basically need to stay alive long enough to have the timer time out on you. But at this point, if I was you, all I would do, Swablu, Sableye, Snow Runt, Magikarp, anything like that, just do two of those, knock that out. Stage four, you need to earn a silver Kanto medal. Obviously, if you don't have your Kanto medal yet, while you're evolving to get that medal, then you're gonna be earning 2000 XP for that while you're evolving 20 Pokemon. And as you walk with your Magikarp to get up to your Gyarados later, you earn five candies walking with your buddy. Remember, you want to have a Pokemon that is one kilometer to do this the fastest. So your best bet is to use Magikarp or Gyarados. Either one of those, you only need to walk one kilometer to get a candy. You could also be walking a Geodude, Graveler, or Golem. They are also only one kilometer. Also, Aeron, Laron, or Agron are one kilometer. Um, even Swablu and Altaria, any Pokemon that you only need one kilometer to get candy, that's your best bet here. And your rewards are going to be 4,000 Stardust, 3 Lure Modules, and 20 Great Falls. Remember, always have your Star Piece and Lucky Egg on while you're doing these. Okay, Stage 5 is where it finally gets actually difficult. You need to find a Ditto. Any Ditto that you already have in your inventory doesn't count. It has to be a new Ditto that you found during tier five. Even if you found it during the other tiers, it won't count. It has to be during the time that you're on tier five. You need to make 20 great throws and catch 10 ghost type Pokemon. You just kind of like take your time with the throw, gauge the distance properly, execute the throw. Practice makes perfect on these throws. Excellence do count. Now, when it comes to 10 ghost type Pokemon, I cannot stress, just look at night. Um, ghost Pokemon might be more around churches, they might be around graveyards, so if you know where those are, please be respectful while you're around those areas. Otherwise, I myself found ghost Pokemon everywhere, but it was just at night. I think it took me, um, two, it took me an hour to find two Shuppets. So, you can probably average around two ghost Pokemon an hour. Um, maybe more if you have incense on, so always have incense on. I definitely know I had two shepherds on an incense during mine. So incense and hunting at night for ghosts. When it comes to ditto, your best bet is to go to um, parking lots that you can find big cluster spawns of common type Pokemon like Pidgey, Rattata, Sentret, um, Talo, Gulpin, even Yanma. There's a bunch of Pokemon that can be ditto. So if you have like a Walmart parking lot or an Ikea parking lot or some kind of parking lot around you that you know has huge cluster spawns of these basic types, even Wizmer, these Pokemon, Pidgeys, all of these can become Ditto. I found my Ditto inside of a um, Pidgey. I know that Pokey AK found his in a Rattata. I think Prodigy's Nations was a Rattata. So always be checking your basic Pokemon while you're in tier five. And just a word to the wise, if you raspberry these common Pokemon and then you use a great ball and it breaks out of that ball after a great and a regular Raz, it might be a ditto. So that's what happened to me. I great ball and raspberry a Pidgey. It broke out. I was like, wait a minute, this is weird. So then I golden raspberried it. If it breaks out like that, immediately just golden raspberry it, ultra ball it, it's probably a ditto. Save yourself the struggle, don't let it run on you. Capture that thing when you have the chance. Your rewards for completing tier five will be a premium raid pass and a lucky egg and 15 revives. Basically they're preparing you for the next stage, which is stage six. Stage six is reach level 25, um, battle 10 raids, and evolve a Magikarp. You're gonna be getting 3000 XP for all of these. You're gonna be earning 6,000 Stardust. That's an incredible amount of Stardust, remember, Star piece, star piece, star piece. That is a lot of stardust with a star piece on. You get five rare candies and three incense. If you're not on level 25, use a lucky egg to help your process. Hopefully you have been walking a Magikarp or a Gyarados so far up to this tier, collecting Magikarp candy, so that way you have 400 Magikarp candy ready to evolve. If you don't have enough Magikarp, 
my best advice to you is go to anywhere that is a major watering hole. Any place that's by the water, like a beach or like a local pier or somewhere, somewhere on the water. I myself went to Spruce Street Harbor Park in Philadelphia. And if you need help finding nests, go to thesilfroad.com and look at their nest atlas. The nest atlas is user generated. So if you have a Magikarp nest in your area that you know about, help everybody out. Go to the Silk Road Nest Atlas and report where you found a Magikarp nest. Other than that, like I said, go to bodies of water, go to lakes, go to rivers, put on an incense, most importantly, and just grind those candies out. Now, when it comes to doing those 10 raids, you don't really need to capture or finish like those raids. You just basically need to beat the timer. Here's the crazy part is you can, for example, start a Tyranitar raid, hit the run, like quit button, but don't back all the way out of the raid. Just go back to the lobby so that the Pokemon can't like actually battle you. Sit in that raid lobby, time it all the way out. You don't actually need to complete the battle. It's kind of crazy. If you want to feel good about yourself at the end of the day, do the 10 raids properly and even better, like do it with your friends. Or if you need the Magikarp candies, do 10 Magikarp raids, pineapple them. Do what makes you feel most comfortable. But remember that if you're struggling and you can't find any raids, all you need to do is initiate the raid battle, hit the quit button once to wait in the lobby, time it out, and you can do that multiple times until that Pokemon's raid boss timer completely times out and it's gone from that gym. If you're sitting there at a Lugia raid, you can do that multiple times and get a couple different raid battles counting towards your 10 raids. Now here you go, stage seven. You're going to need to catch 50 Pokemon using a berry. You're gonna make one excellent curveball throw, earn the Kanto gold medal. There, each of those tasks are getting 3,500 XP. That's a lot of XP, especially with Lucky Egg on. And you're gonna be earning 8,000 Stardust, that's a lot of Stardust. 20 Ultra Balls, and then you have the mythical Pokemon encounter, which is at this time, Mew. And by the way, Mew is the only mythical Pokemon that we have confirmed being out right now. Possible future encounters could be like Jirachi, Celebi, Deoxys, but right now you just have Mew. I myself um, used Raspberries on 50 Pokemon, and I got my final Pokedex <laughs> entry ma Masquerade from catching it with a golden raspberry. Make one excellent curveball throw. Remember, in order to do an excellent curveball, you have to get the circle really small. And if you need help doing excellent throws, you just kind of circle lock it. You hold down the ball, circle lock it to that Pokemon, curve the ball by like spinning it up and letting it go. Simple as that. And then finally, earn the gold Kanto medal. That's just a matter of evolving stuff and capturing stuff. Finally, you have unlocked Mew. When you capture Mew, you get 4,000 XP, and your rewards for doing that are 10,000 Stardust, one Super Incubator, and you get 20 Mew candy. And just for capturing Mew, you get three candy. So you get a total of 23 Mew candies during that whole encounter. Let me show you the quick video of what it looks like when you're encountering Mew. Okay, so you guys know that I love AR photos. If you wanna take an AR photo with Mew, just realize that wherever you click start on your Mew task, that is where your camera is gonna be locked. And the usual AR button at the top that you can use to turn it on and off will be missing. You have nothing available to you other than the camera button and some Pokeballs. You have unlimited Pokeballs, you can't use any berries, so you can't pine that Mew. And basically, you're gonna capture it every single time on the third ball. You can see that Mew is kind of invisible as it's moving around and stuff. You can still basically see it if you have good lighting. Make sure you have good lighting. And there it is, registered to the Pokedex. And I love that I have the pixelated Pokemon right now for April Fool's Day. The pixelated Pokemon are just temporary. It's an April Fool's Day joke. I love it. Let me know in the comment section below if you love the pixelated Pokemon. And then you have Mew. It's amazing and congratulations to you once you have Mew. Um, this is an AR photo that I took of Mew while it was invisible. It kind of looks like a bubble. You can still basically see it. You can take a picture of it like this. If you want Mew to end up being pink like this, what I did was I threw a Pokeball at it and deliberately missed. And if you do that, I think like twice, it'll show up pink. So that's how you do it. And if you want to get the pose like that where he's kind of sitting back and being cute, you basically have to be super patient because Mew doesn't move very much. You have to be really patient and just wait there and eventually he will rock back and show his feet to you. So it's super cute 
take an AR photo, good luck to you. Remember that wherever you start your camera, that's where he's gonna be. So make sure you pay attention to what you're looking at when you start your AR camera. And if you don't have AR mode, it's okay. It's still gonna work for you. You're gonna be able to capture Mew without AR mode. And also, if you wanna disable AR mode so that you can capture Mew without going into AR mode, you go to settings in your phone, and then application, and then you go down to Pokemon Go and disable your camera. Why would you want to do that though? It really, really annoys me. I really hope you guys take a nice AR photo of Mew. Share it and uh, tag me on Instagram if you take one. I hope that you guys have a great time capturing Mew. Some quick stats about Mew. The max CP is 3056 to 3090. 3090 is a perfect 100% IV maxed out Mew. You need 268 candies to max out Mew. You need almost 250,000 Stardust to max out Mew, so make sure you have plenty of Stardust before you start dumping it into that thing. Mew has access to 14 different fast moves and 24 charge moves. And I believe the best move set, I will put that here on the screen as to what it is. And currently no shiny Mews have been reported, but it is in the code. So possibly in the future we will see more shiny Mew coming out, but right now all of them are pink. And remember that shiny Mew is blue. So currently, make sure that you go out there, get your Mew, have a great time, relish, savor it. Currently, this is the only Mew that you can get in the game, so until we can have four mythical encounters with Mew through special research, this is gonna be your one time, this is your one shot. Enjoy it, love it. Congratulations to everybody who's getting their Mews. Um, please check out my story and video that will be coming out next for my Mew encounter that took me exactly 24 hours. Good luck to all of you guys. You guys are awesome. And also, shout out to Matt Iyer for giving me this Mew shirt. Guys, we got Mew. We got Mew. Thank you, Niantic. Good luck, everybody.